Hello ladies and gents, Bro here and welcome to No North Films. Today we're going to be covering how to sync your iPhone or your iOS device uh, with iTunes. And this is going to be the latest version of iTunes, iTunes version 12.6.1. And I wanted to update this video, I had made a video like this a while back, but I wanted to make an update and show you guys exactly how the steps go through. And and if you have any other questions, you can just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. But I'm also be covering additional syncing options, uh, sync your music, photos, uh, audiobooks, you, you, you name it. Let's go ahead and get started. And uh, I have iTunes open here. I'm gonna go ahead and go to top left uh, about iTunes and you'll notice that it is iTunes 12.6.1.25. We're just gonna work on the 12.6. So once you have your iPhone or your iOS device connected to the lightning cable, go ahead and plug in the USB into your computer. And then uh, as soon as you plug it in, you'll probably get a, like a buzz or if it's your first time plugging in, you're more than likely gonna have to unlock your iPhone and it'll tell you to unlock your iPhone to continue. And uh, once you've actually plugged in, you'll notice that right here at the top left, just to the right of your music uh, tab, you'll have the iPhone option. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and simply click on that iPhone option and you'll notice it's going to give you some of the basic statistics regarding your iPhone and what is on your iPhone, uh, showing you how much memory, what, if you can sync now, back up now. And if you've synced before, it'll show you at the very bottom here what is actually uh, taking up more of most of your space on your iPhone. So just to show you guys, since this is a sync video, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that right here at the very bottom right hand corner, right, right after you have your iPhone iPhone plugged in, you go ahead and hit that sync button and it's going to begin doing the sync. You'll have the progress bar at the very top here. It says syncing uh, Rose iPhone uh, step two of six. It'll go, uh, it'll go back up. It'll update any uh, playlists. You have playlists uh, like right here. I have all my digital media on my left hand side, which you'll be able to find here as well. But keep in mind that everything that, that is here, since I am in the iPhone tab, um, what I mean by like if I've clicked on, you've clicked on iPhone, everything that you see here and anything you go through in here will actually be that's on your iPhone or something that you can sync on your iPhone, your photos, and uh, that's sort of, we're gonna cover this in just a second here. Um, I do want to show you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and go through the backup here at the very top right hand corner. You can see that it's still syncing Rose iPhone. It's backing up, and I'm looking at my iPhone right now. It shows a little. A uh, little uh, prog not really a progress bar, but like a circle, spinning circle at the very top left, just next to my Wi-Fi wi symbol, and uh, you'll be able to also tell that your iPhone is connected to iTunes and it's doing the sync process. Um, from this window, you can also find uh, your updates. You can check for latest updates if you haven't updated. Um, you can also update just directly on your iOS device. You don't have to be connected to iTunes, and uh, also you can see your iCloud options here if you're backing up to iCloud or you're backing up to the computer. I prefer the computer because uh, five gigabytes is not enough to back up all of my data here and you can tell just my photos are seven gigabytes <laughs> and that's that, that's over five gigabytes right there. So I do use iCloud though. I use it for other reasons. I connect my music. Since I have Apple Music, I'm gonna go ahead and back here, hit the back button here, and I'm gonna go to the For You section. This is the Apple Music section, and any playlist I add to my library, or let's say I add a particular song or a whole new album, I add it to my library. And uh, if I put it in one of these playlists, it's more than likely gonna be synced through iCloud automatically straight to my um, iPhone or iOS device as long as it's also enabled for iCloud and to sync over iCloud. If you notice the bottom left hand corner, I actually have a playlist here which says uh, 2016 and it's got this uh, I, this cloud symbol with a line going through it and it, it's going to say right here, the playlist doesn't can't be added to your iCloud music library, iCloud library plays can only include music from your iCloud music library. This playlist can't be uploaded because it includes other media kinds or songs that are not eligible. And that is because this particular playlist contains music from uh, Apple Music, music that I don't really own, but I pay the subscription to be able to listen to it, uh, and then music that I personally downloaded onto iTunes. And so it's a mix of both. So the playlist is not gonna be syncing to iCloud correctly. So if you wanna take advantage of the whole iCloud aspect of this, I do recommend you uh, purchase or subscribe to Apple Music and take advantage of the uh, 
services they offer through that. But let's go back to the syncing option. As you can tell, I'm still backing up syncing Rose iPhone, step two of six. And you'll notice that right here, it, the bar is actually adjusted because it's it, I haven't synced for a long time. And it now, once it's done backing up, it's gonna go into copying diagnostic information, uh, syncing results, step three of six. After it's done syncing all your notes, calendars, and uh, just the miscellaneous as well, you're gonna probably see a step of six of six um, copying any photos or let's say any last minute songs that you just put on iTunes, they'll be added to your iPhone. And that all depends on how you've uh, set up and what you've chosen to actually sync. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here at the very bottom, you'll actually be able to see these options. And this actually controls another way of controlling what and where and how you're gonna sync your songs. Uh, you can prefer standard definition videos, convert high bit rate songs to, and that will help save memory if you have a bunch of music. Uh, manually manage videos, uh, you can configure, reset warnings, sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi, and I highly recommend the, this option as well if you have a really good uh, steady Wi-Fi connection and you don't wanna use a cable to sync to iTunes, you can just, and you have your computer always on, this is definitely gonna help you out. It's gonna constantly be updated and sync with your iTunes over your Wi-Fi. It's a, it's a pretty neat feature. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, begin covering, since uh, my iPhone is still syncing here at the top, uh, it says copying one of 32, it looks like it's actually said that for a while here, but let's go ahead and go straight into our app section here and uh, this will automatically show you your app layout on your iPhone. If you synced already, it's gonna show you where your apps at are at and how they look. And you can actually go in here and you can actually drag these apps and you can place them wherever you want. So you can change how your any apps will look or where they're at on your iPhone uh, before you even launch the iPhone or before you even log, log into your iPhone. And it will sync, you'll hit that done button, button once you press the done, that will apply any changes that you may have made. And then from there, you can go ahead and sync and it will sync your latest uh, changes of regarding where you place the apps or if you moved any. You can even delete the apps from here as well. Now in the music tab here, you'll notice there appears to be only one option and uh, sync your voice memos. I, I don't really understand why this is here, but in order to sync your music, if you go back to your summary tab and you scroll down, you'll be able to notice that you have this option that says uh, sync only checked songs and videos. And if you go back to your library, well, I'm gonna go ahead and hit apply, and you can actually go ahead and uh, if you're in your songs uh, tab here, you'll notice that you have all these checkboxes next to these songs. Um, so this is the best way I found to sync music. Uh, I've actually checkboxed every song because I have enough room on my iPhone. So I, but if you don't like a particular song, it's as easy as unchecking it or checking it again. And uh, you can actually sort the songs by if you have certain ones checked or unchecked. Now you may be thinking this could be like tedious, like, oh my gosh, I gotta go through and check and uncheck all the songs I don't like or the songs I like, because you might have a library of like 10,000 plus songs. But if you actually go ahead into your songs uh, tab here, you can actually select all your songs with Command A. And if you go to songs, you can actually, well, dislike them all, but you can also uncheck selection, which would be pretty much every single song here. And as you can tell, I just unchecked every song. And I'm gonna go back and uh, check selection and it's gonna check back every single song again for me. And if you have some questions about that, there, there, there's other ways to sync music. You can sync uh, specific playlists. You can just uh, sync, uh, let's say you have a, uh, uh, auto, you want to auto <laughs> sync some songs, then you could, there's actually options for that as well. Um, let's go back into the iPhone window and we're gonna go into the movie section. And I have some movies here or films, clips that I've actually imported into iTunes and that's why they're available here for me to actually select and import. I'm gonna uncheck this box because I don't want to sync any of these videos. I think it's gonna be unnecessary space and I normally don't watch these videos on my iPhone anyways. So I'm gonna go into the TV show section if you have TV shows or episodes, audiobooks, you're probably going to be able to find them here. And uh, all you got to do is hit that sync TV shows option. And from here, you can actually categorize and uh, choose which episodes you want to sync so that you're 
prioritizing and you're saving up some room as well. Um, let's go ahead and to the photo section. I have it automatically set to import from my photos library. If you have uh, Mac OS El Capitan or uh, Mac OS Sierra, which I am currently running on, um, you'll have these uh, photos app. Now, if you want to also access these photos, you're wondering like, where, what are these photos? Like, I want to actually get this photo off my iPhone and put it on my computer, you can actually launch this Photos app, connect your iPhone just the way we just did at the beginning of this video, and you'll be able to access those uh, through uh, the Photos application on your Mac. And this is uh, pretty basic, so if you actually don't want to import photos from your Photos uh, application, you can go ahead and just uh, choose a folder and redirect to a specific folder that you've uh, specifically made with all of these photos and videos. And once you've chosen your folder, you can go ahead and select uh, specific albums. You can just include videos or, like I have here, all photos and albums. Um, and last but not least, but this info here option, you'll be able to find a lot of your, if you have uh, synced calendars and some synced notes and uh, some of those iCloud items will be found in your info section. I'm not going to cover it in this video because it does include uh, some personal information. But also just below the info, you'll also find the on my device. And if you're curious of what is already on your iPhone and if you're, you're really not sure, you can go ahead and hit that music and scroll through and see what it all contains. Uh, same with movies, TV shows, books, audiobooks, tones, and including your playlists below as well. And since I did make some changes, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that apply button, hit uh, done, and I'm gonna hit that sync option again and uh, resync with my latest uh, changes. So, other than that, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys next video and later. So let my life be